guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing a food shop haul for you guys and I am gonna show you my meal plans that I have made for this week. So I felt a bit like I was stuck in a bit of a rut. I was doing the same meals um, kind of week in, week out and I thought let's spice things up a little bit. So I asked the boys, that was probably a bit of an error, but I asked them what they wanted for dinner this week. So the obvious pizza and chips came out, chicken nuggets, fish fingers, all things like that. So what I thought I would do is I would do those things, but the healthier version of them. So that's what I'm gonna show you what I've bought today to create that healthier version. Um, I did my shopping stay in Tesco's. I did the click and collect service. The click and collect service is amazing. Literally, you go in your app, you put everything in that you want, and instead of saying home delivery, you do click and collect. I've got a Tesco garage um, half a mile up the road, so it gets taken there in the van. It gets like, you get a two hour time slot, and um, I go up there with my bags, fill them all up, I'm home within seven minutes. It's so quick and easy, and I saved myself six pounds, which was the home delivery cost. So if you guys can do that, it's definitely, definitely worth doing. I definitely shopped the offers today. I, Whenever I put in a kind of product that I want, the offers will always come up to the top, so I always just kind of click on those, and um, that's how I kind of shop wise. But anyway, let's get straight onto this video, and I'll show you what I bought today. I hope you guys enjoy this, and it gives you some ideas for what to feed your family this week. Okay, so let's start off with the breakfast bits. We've got some normal milk. This is full fats, is what the kids like, and Chris likes it in his tea. And then I have got some oatly milk. This is the foamable version. It's the um, barista edition. So this, when you have it with a coffee, is honestly so delicious. It's my absolute favorite milk to have in my coffees. I have got some porridge. The kids love that for their breakfast. And I have got some eggs and some avocado and some sourdough bread. That's my favorite breakfast. And then another loaf of bread for the kids if they ever want some toast. Hopefully this should get me like quite far through the week before I do need to go and top up on the bread. Right, next up I have got some, I'm gonna be making a mushroom risotto. So I bought a new risotto rice and I bought three lots of um, mushrooms. This one's an exotic mushroom, so they're really small little ones and I just chop everything up quite finely. Chestnut mushrooms and baby chestnut mushrooms and I already have a vegetable stock in the cupboard so we'll use that and maybe put some Philadelphia in or just some normal cheese to make it a bit creamier. I have the Philadelphia already in the fridge and then I've got some cheese, which you'll see later on in my shop. Right, so this is kind of meal number two and three for you guys. Number two, I am making some fish and chips. So I bought these frozen cod fillets. They're a lot cheaper than buying the um, fresh ones. So what I'll do is I'll just take them out in the morning, let them defrost, and then I'll beat up an egg, which you saw over there with the breakfast stuff and I will like flip them over into the egg and then I will put these breadcrumbs on top and it makes really nice kind of healthy fish and chips. Obviously these are my um, potatoes which I'll be making my chips out of and I always keep the skin on because that's where all the goodness is and I will also be making chicken nuggets. These, like my kids love chicken nuggets so much but I always feel a tad bit guilty giving them chicken nuggets so I bought these chicken breasts and I will just like chop them up into sections and then I will do exactly the same thing, like coat them in egg, put the breadcrumbs on top and I'll probably serve that with peas and chips again but I just grouped these together so that I could show you I was using the same ingredients and kind of doing the same meal but with chicken and one with fish. So the same with this, this is kind of grouped into two meals as well. So you guys know that I love buying a whole salmon because this is 15 pounds for this whole side of salmon and once you cut it up you can get 10 pieces out of here so that works out like 150 a piece and normally they're like two pounds 25 a piece so this does work out so much cheaper so for one meal i'm going to do salmon layered potatoes which chris loves so much so you just literally do um, slice up the potatoes really thin, slice up the onions really thin, put some garlic in, and then you just pour some milk on top and it's delicious. So we'll have that with some broccoli. And the next meal we're gonna be having salmon, couscous, and some roasted vegetables. And I really like kale, so this will kind of go into um, maybe this meal for me. Instead of the broccoli, I might have kale, 
but it's just there as like an option for me. So I did buy two packets of potatoes because I know if I'm doing the layer potatoes with this one and I'm doing the chips with the other two meals, we'll probably get through them. So for you guys who are like me and do Pizza Fridays, this is a great way for you guys to have a Pizza Friday without feeling as guilty. So I just buy some wholemeal pita bread and then what the boys do is they put some ketchup on top and they make their own pizzas. I grate up some cheese, cut up some ham, I'll cut up some like maybe some tomatoes and things like that as well and I will let them just make their own pizzas and then I just pop them in the oven for about 15 minutes or you can pop them under the grill, whichever one you prefer. Grill's a lot quicker. Um, and the kids absolutely love this so much. And then I will just like cut up some peppers on the side from the leftovers from my roasted vegetables from the day before. This is their favorite. And if their friends come over on a Friday, it's a really like fun activity for them to do as well. So my last meal of the week is going to be fajitas. These were on offer, so I got two for 150. They were meant to be 89p each, so I'm actually gonna only use one of these seasoning mixes. But I thought I'd just buy both because I'll keep it in the cupboard and then I don't need to buy one next time. So I have got um, turkey breast steaks. So there's quite a lot in here. So once I slice those up into strips, that'll be a really nice amount of turkey mince in there. I quite like turkey mince. It's a bit different to chicken. And because we're having chicken nuggets in the week, I thought it'd be nice to have a bit of something different. Then I have got some... Um, multi-seed tortilla wraps, some avocado, some lettuces because guys if you haven't ever tried this it's actually a really good little tip if you're trying to not have so many carbs. I will make the fajita mix and I will use this like a leaf as one of my wraps so I'll just put everything in the middle and then eat the leaf like that. It's really really tasty, it's so fresh, you're not having carbs and um, yeah it's just delicious. So and then I thought I'd make some sweet potato wedges so you can see I've got quite a few sweet potatoes. They're pretty large, so I probably won't use all of these. So they will kind of be like my leftovers too. And I've also got some peppers for my little like fajita mix too. Right, so onto snacks. My kids are massive snackers. They get home from school and they are starving. So they love fruit. So I've got literally like two packs of everything, two packs of apples two packs of plums, two packs of rice cakes, some bananas. I've also got some salt and vinegar snack jacks and I have got some oat cakes as well. They really love these. They, you get like six in a pack um, and you get about four packs, I think, in a, in a box. Yeah, I think that's what you get. Um, so they come home from school and they can just help themselves to any of this. I don't mind what they have because obviously it's very healthy. So, and when they have these oat cakes, they literally just eat them plain. You would think they're really dry, but the kids don't seem to mind. So, yep, this is my snack selection. So lastly, these are just bits that I needed to get that I was running out of at home. So I had to get some more ketchup, mayonnaise, and some peri peri nando sauce. We love this so much. Um, I needed some more salt granules for the dishwasher, and I needed some more chopped tomatoes. So even though I've done, like, this whole shop, I have got pasta still left over from last week so I can make my own pasta sauce with all the leftover vegetables and some chopped tomatoes and there will be a lot of extra leftovers that I can make different things with as well. Thank you so much for watching today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I spent 88 pounds today in Tesco's which I think is really, really reasonable considering I have got enough food here to not only last the week but also I will have leftovers so it will stretch a bit further as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and it's given you some meal ideas and I will see you next time. Bye!